So here at the TI, you're showing Wi-Fi display. Correct. So this is the Wi-Fi display implementation on OMAP 4. So what we are running is OMAP 4470. So a couple of use cases. You know that we can <coughs> support different use cases under uh, Wi-Fi display. That so means this is power. Yes, that's power, and this is yeah. connected to a sink here, which is connected over HDMI to, uh, to the external display. What we are showing is a showing is a typical YouTube application. So I browse through uh, HD contents. And you can see that the video is playing in a small window here. And when I connect it over Wi-Fi display to a bigger screen, only the video goes just like consistent with what the user get in a docking user experience with HDMI. So you can see that typical video streaming applications seamlessly work with our Wi-Fi display implementation pretty much consistently uh, the same behavior as what you see with uh, an HDMI docking use case. So we can also, so for example, let me so, could we disconnect just to prove that it's not a battery on it? No so battery? It's, it's, okay. it's just a power. Okay, no problem. No problem. HDMI on this, HDMI. So, it's Wi Fi to this dongle display. there, and the dongle is connected to the external display. Is this uh, what's going I, on? There? I can, I mean, okay. it, it's just doing the video decode and, uh, okay. and, the, and the Wi Fi chip there. Okay. Right. Basically, you need to take this and this MRI. So, you can look at. Um, yeah. So you look at these both screens, the contents, right? So here you see the YouTube with the UI and the video yeah. playing. Here the docking mode, only the video there. So, so what kind of uh, resolutions or so bit rates can it send? So you can do up to 1080p 30 frames per second, but it is not currently streaming uh, HD content because of the, um, the specific application as well as the bandwidth which we have. So I will show you an HD content yeah. uh, in another use case here. So the use case here is um, you, you're using your tablet. You wanted to send an HD content to an external screen. Uh, while you do something else on your tablet, just like um, checking your mails or browsing. Uh, yeah. Let me change the um, yeah. channel. Okay. So what you see here now is a 1080p 30 frames yeah. per second, which I content, which I sent from my transmitted yeah. from my, to my tablet. So here, this device is acting as the sink, right, and which is connected to the external display through HDMI. So the way for this to work would be uh, to go from one TI, let's say, set the box to the tablet, or uh, from it can be any Wi-Fi display compliant sink. Uh, it can work with any Wi-Fi display compliant sink. Here, the the speciality of this demo is if you look at this particular use case, right. So um, the sink can support, let's say, as per the standard H.264 base profile and on. But from the cloud, you can get any kind of content, it can be, um, you know, H.264 many main profile or high profile or other contents which is coming from the cloud, any streaming service, or it can be a local resident content, a Blu-ray quality, right? So you need to do a level of transcoding for HD content, 1080p. You have to do first decode the content and re-encode it again. So that kind of intensive operation we could perform fully on our hardware accelerator without spending MIPS from our MPU or uh, GPU. So right. is it like uh, Wi-Fi mirroring? So you can do Wi-Fi mirroring as well. So this mode we call it as kind of cinema mode. It's an exclusive use case. You can see your tablet is free to do other kind of operations now. So right. So right now, it's, is it doing all this encoding, encoding? Correct here? on the source. Or is it send, just send it, the send it to the RTSP uh, through our RTSP to the um, the sync, and the sync is doing the decoding aspect, and then it's not just sending the link and saying go no, on the internet no, and get no, that video. No, 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 no. It's basically no? the compressed stream is sent from one terminal to another one. But uh, Shouldn't Wi-Fi not be able to support HDMI, uh, HD? I mean, uh, under bitrate limits? No. So, so currently we are using uh, eight megabits per second. So the P2P link can support much beyond that. So there is no issue in supporting high bitrate. Uh, nice. But if the video is higher bitrate here, it's just going to make it more compressed for it to work, right? Yeah. So you can you can compress when you when you transcode the content. You can decide high, uh, what bitrate you wanted to compress it again. Send it again. All right. Yeah. So uh, when is this available? So this is um, production ready software from uh, currently and uh, it will be available in the market in products which is coming end of this year. Does that mean you need a new product or can you just update the software on the previous ones? So this is supported in our standard 4470 Android baseline. So any 4470 device Android will be device able to do this? Support this? Yes, that's true. And how about competing SOCs? Can it be compatible or is it only it can work with any, uh, I mean, if you're asking about the sync, it can work with yeah. any Wi-Fi display compatible receiver. And uh, that's a lot of devices, or? 
yeah, it's open standard, so you can expect like uh, many devices like dongles, HDMI dongles or TVs will be available in the market, which is compliant with the standard.